Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you a bunch of spreadsheets that I made and you'll be able to plug in your numbers for whatever boat you're looking at and I will make that link available in the comments below. All right, let's get to it. So here's my metric from Fort Myers Beach to the Dry Tortugas. How long would it take each boat and how much fuel would you use one way for the trip? Assume perfect conditions, 10% fuel reserve, and optimal cruising speed based on published data. First up, the Aquila 36 with the twin Mercury Verado 300s and the hydrofoil. The formula I use to calculate it is range equals usable fuel capacity divided by gallons per hour burned times speed according to clicksfueling.com. And nope, not sponsored, that's just where I found it. And every link and every source of data I find, I will put them in the comments below. All right, first up, the Aquila 36 with twin Mercury Verado 300s and the hydrofoil. 33 knots is the optimal cruising speed according to boat test and fuel consumption is 29.3 gallons per hour. Fuel capacity is 360 gallons, so a 360 gallon fuel tank divided by 29.3 gallons per hour times 33 knots is 405 miles. With a 10% reserve, that is a 360 mile safe range. It would take three hours and 30 minutes to reach the Dry Tortugas on the Navionics app with 102 gallons used at a burn rate of 1.3 miles per gallon. All right, next up, the Aventura 38C with the two 320 horsepower inboard Yanmar diesels. Cruising speed of 15 knots with fuel consumption estimated at 19 gallons per hour, according to Boat News. Fuel capacity is 290 gallons, so 290 gallons divided by 19 gallons per hour times 15 knots is 229 miles. With a 10% reserve, that is a 207 mile safe range. That means it will take you seven hours and 45 minutes and use 147.5 gallons of fuel at a rate of 0.9 miles per gallon. Since the distance to the Dry Tortugas for this test is 116 nautical miles and you've got 147.5 gallons of fuel burned with a 207 mile safe range, <laughs> you're looking at sea tow on the way back or you need to slow down, way down, or you need to have a supplemental fuel tank on board because you are not getting there just with that. Okay, the next one is the Leopard 43. It also has the twin 320 horsepower Yanmar diesels, just like the Aventura. It has a best cruise fuel economy of three gallons per hour at a speed of eight knots, with a fuel tank of 264 gallons. Range is 704 nautical miles. So that calculation is 264 gallons divided by three gallons per hour times eight knots. Safe range with a 10% reserve is about 634 nautical miles. Plenty of range and a very economical fuel consumption of 41.7 gallons, but it will take you nearly 14 hours to get there. That's basically an entire day lost. And having been there and done it once, it's just a straight shot over very, very lonely ocean. And uh, you're really hoping that in that 14 hours that that ocean continues to behave the whole time because one time for us, it did not cooperate for us and it was eight hours of absolute hell. So 14 hours, yikes. It has the same engines as the Aventura. So you'd be looking at a similar burn rate if you bumped up the speed to 15 knots. And the reverse is also true for the Aventura. If you slowed her down to eight knots, you would get there and back eventually. The 2023 Fontaine Peugeot MY4S has a fuel capacity of 317 US gallons. Boat tests found that the best cruising performance was 14.5 knots. At this speed, fuel consumption was 14.6 gallons per hour. That gives you a range of 315 nautical miles so 317 gallons divided by 14.6 gallons per hour multiplied by 14.5 knots. And with a 10% safety reserve, that's 284 miles. That will get you to the Dry Tortugas in about eight hours 
using 116 gallons of fuel at one mile per gallon. Not bad, but we're still eight hours. That's an entire day just to get there. And then you're looking at an entire day just to get back. Okay. The AeroCat 420. This one is powered by twin Mercury Verado 400 horsepower outboard engines. Big, big engines. It has a 400 gallon fuel tank, so you're looking at a 330 mile range at a fast cruising speed. 400 gallons divided by 24 gallons per hour times 20 knots. The range is 300 miles with a 10% reserve. The AeroCat will get you to the Dry Tortugas in about 5 hours and 48 minutes with a fuel burn of 139 gallons and a fuel economy just shy of 1 mile per gallon. I think this is a pretty good compromise between amount of fuel you're burning, how much your boat can hold, and time. So the quickest time was 3 hours and 30 minutes and the longest time was 14 hours and then there was the AeroCat came in second at five hours and 45 minutes and then the other two were right up around seven eight hours so time really makes a difference i mean it it really does so who's the winner and we definitely had a winner and if you can't tell there's a reason i don't play poker okay each one had something special the futuristic design of the aventura The space of the leopard. The familiarity of the Fontaine Peugeot. The customization of the Arrowcat. And then there was one more. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! The boat we chose, the one the universe practically delivered to our doorstep, is the Aquila 36 with the hydrofoil. So now, meet Abracadabra. She's going to be the star of this channel as we upgrade, add some flash, and take her to the Bahamas and beyond. And I can't wait to share it with you. Thanks y'all for being part of our journey. I would love to hear what you think of Abracadabra. And as always, see you out there.